Five printing tips. Power outage. Starting a print. Reaching at C equals zero. Yes, on top. Power cut. Restart. Simply press power outage menu. Reaching back at C equals zero. Back printing at the right layer of when it powered off. Resin refill. Install the pipping and turn on the pump. Press automatic feeding menu. Resin filling. Working both ways. It's slow but efficient. Okay, I was not patient enough. I highly recommend you to use my bottle dripping hook. Link in the description. Pretty satisfying hook. Build plate tray level. Bring down the build platform with the build plate fully tightened. Not totally down for now. And screw the to buy for screws. It is now able to move. Place to sheets of paper, not overlapping and bring the platform completely down. Check if per where sheets are moving. Apply light pressure and retighten the screws, starting by the bigger ones. Gently tighten the smaller ones, control the sheet's movement, then control back screws, etc. Paper sheets should not move, no screws should now be tightened. Then press the button your plate is leveled. You can check it by moving up and back totally down. Build plate dripping. Use our plate dripping hook to hang your freshly printed plate and let it drip. Check 
clean your vat between prints. Gloves, dripping hook, and cloth aspect. First check your back. My best tool is a flexible silicone spatula. Move the spatula in contact with the film to feel any element stuck to it. Second clean your back. In case you just had some parts failing, I highly recommend you to do complete back cleaning. Hash 1, place a piece of paper in one corner. Be sure that it is completely pressed against the film. Number 2, go to exposure test menu. Manually set the time to 5 sec way enough. Pull out the paper and the cured layer. Fold it in two and clip it to the hook. Let it drip and throw it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Behind the scenes, not always going well. Ops. What a mess.